Thanks so much for staying with the McAllen Cable Network. I'm Roxanne Lerma. Today we are joined by our friend from the University of Texas Pan American over in Edinburgh, Ms. Debbie Grant. Debbie, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me here today. So I hear that the Bronx are gearing up for a pretty big week. Tell us about it. Well, uh, uh, during the week of February 10th, that's our homecoming week. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have activities going on through the week, and you can find out more about those activities that are student-related and if alumni are available to, to come. It's on our website, utpa.edu. But I really want to uh, invite people to the weekend. There's a lot of interesting uh, things happening for our homecoming, and it's going to begin on f Friday the 14th. So just in case you don't have any activities going on for Valentine's Day, that we, have, <laughs> we have some suggestions for you. Yeah, we have some suggestions for you. Uh, it's actually the opening weekend for baseball. Oh, there's, okay. there's going to be a Hall of Fame mixer, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I want to invite all our alumni and friends to come out. We're, gonna, we're going to have a, a little kind of a little get together and uh, help uh, celebrate that uh, event and also come out and see a game, a good game that night. And that's the beginning. And then the next day we have a big old tailgate. Uh, we really want all our alums and our friends and anybody you want to bring come out and t uh, tailgate with us by coming out to, uh, to our cook-off. Mm -hmm. The cook-off is open to the public. And it's there's no charge to come and tailgate. Where, where is that at? It's going to be at the field house parking lot. Okay, so like legitimately, <laughs> it's a tailgate. It's a tailgate. <laughs> We're going right. to be in a parking lot. It's going to be a parking lot. And it's going to be from three to seven mm -hmm. uh, that night. There's going to be a game. Uh, the the men's team is going to be playing the Kansas City. And so we're going to have some interesting things outside uh, for everybody to 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 entertain themselves with. We're going to have a car show. There's going to be a, we're going to oh, bring okay. in some classic cars from all the decades. Remember, the university's been there since 1927. Right. So we want we want our alums. If there's any alums out there that have a car that they want to showcase, just contact this my office. This is the time to do this it. This is the time to do it. And you just contact my office at 665-2500 and uh, just let me know if you're interested in coming. And also, we're also so going to have uh, the, we have the cook off and we have the car show. And then there's going to, uh, between one and three, prior to the tailgate, if there's anybody that wants to come out for an uh, ice cream social, especially those that are... Uh, oh, I think you might, <laughs> you might pique some interest with an ice cream social. Uh, yeah, and that was more uh, targeted toward our gift, uh, people that are already planning their future. Mm -hmm. it's, it's our gift estate planning social. Right. So uh, we'd love for, for them to come out and that's going to be indoors so they can be inside having a little social and then right after that come to our tailgate. And oh we're just going to have a lot of fun. It's just going we just we want everybody to wear their their colors our, our green, orange and white. Bring out anything that you have that's spirit related and right. let's just come out and have some fun. Uh, there's going to be a, a tent there that we, uh, our alumni uh, is going to be there. Our association is going to be there. Departments are going to be there. That might be a time if you're looking for information about the university, mm -hmm. come out and join us at that tailgate. But it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We we really we're tailgate really to me means food. So yes, there's going to be food. And uh, just to backtrack, our fajita cook-off is for fajitas and chef's chef's choice. So oh, okay. So there's going to be two items, and we're going to be we're going to give out some trophies. So uh, it's no charge to attend. And so just it's come on out. free, you get to eat, <laughs> and it's a competition. It's a competition. And it's we have some serious people about barbecuing here in South Texas. Yes, and I want them all to come out and show, show off their cooking. So uh, we want a big crowd. We had over a thousand people show up last year. Um, we even have a, a place if you want to bring your little motor home or oh, really? anything we will we'll put you in a place to we'll park you and you can come out and join we'll accommodate us. you uh, we'll accommodate anyone that's interested in coming okay and so is this a complete family event um, I mean can you bring your kiddos yes. is it adults only no it's for everybody we're gonna have some games and stuff for the children also uh, we're gonna have something for all ages so uh, it's it's for everybody we want everybody if you don't have anything doing that weekend, that, that that afternoon, we want y'all to come out and come out and show your spirit. I mean, we're, we're Bronx. Show your Bronx I mean, this spirit. Is, this is Bronx country. <laughs> Let's see all those Bronx come out there and show their spirit, and then head on to the, to the basketball game. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun. So weekend. it's a, it's a little different at UTPA because we don't have a you know football team per se. So then our homecoming is completely centered around our basketball team. That's correct. And that, that's not the end of our weekend of oh, okay. there's, activities. And there's more. <laughs> <laughs> there's one more activity the following day on Sunday. We have a Sunday a brunch, and we're going to be celebrating our 50-plus club. 
and that is uh, anyone that's graduated from class 1964 and earlier, if they haven't been inducted to our 50 plus club, mm -hmm. they're more than welcome to come. All they have to do is call our office again, and, it, and it's free to, to our, our alums from that era, so the, the, that time period. Um, so 64 and earlier, we want y'all to come out, and we want to see you, so hear what you're doing, and we got a special little pin that only 50 plus year yeah, clubs only, only can, wear, can wear. Only 50 <laughs> plus can can wear. So it's exciting. But I do want to make sure and promote our uh, just put a little uh, uh, date about our alumni ball. Okay. In the past, our alumni ball has been during homecoming week, right? Which is a big to do event right. at, at the university, mm -hmm. right? This year we've moved it off to another. Uh, we've moved it to another date mm -hmm. since it fell on Valentine's Day. We figure there's a lot of people that want to do their own personal celebration and we don't want to interfere with that. Mm -hmm. We want a crowd to come to our alumni ball. Right. So it's uh, just mark your calendar. It's at March 29th, and uh, we're going to be sending out information, publicizing it more in the future. So just change that date to March 29th instead of February 14th. Excellent. OK, so we're reserving our Valentine's strictly for homecoming. <laughs> exactly. And if you don't, like I said earlier, if you don't have a place to go, we have a, a mixer. And we want to come out and see all our alums that love to play baseball, love baseball, and come out and watch our team that night. If you don't have a, a, an intimate place to go to with right. your, your special person, with your significant <laughs> other, if not, this is a good place to come out to. Do you usually have a, a, a pretty good turnout for our tailgate and our game and things? It's been growing the last uh, two oh, that's or three good. years. It's been really growing, and uh, by us bringing in some more activities and publicizing it more and. And uh, just, uh, well, I think a lot of it has to do, we've been publicizing a lot of Bronx country. You've seen, mm -hmm. you've seen uh, signs around the valley, and, and we're, we're actually really, we want to, we want to see the pr uh, people to bring out the, the, their pride in the university. Right. So we've been really pushing that hard the last few years, and I think we've seen the crowd come out. And we've got a fabulous president, so we Dr. Do Nelson. Have, uh, Dr. Nelson is a fabulous <laughs> yeah, he's president. He's a fab fabulous president. Everybody loves him. Yeah, he's he, he's a hands-on. He's a hands-on, <laughs> and I think since he's been in in place, uh, everything has grown. Really yeah, has grown a lot. So. Uh, I give Dr. Nelson a lot of credit for because he is a hands-on person, like you said, and he's a people's person. Yeah. So, and he knows the community, and I think a lot of times the community just wants to come out and see him and hear what's new going on with the university. I hear that last year you kind of had a surprise visit from a homecoming queen from. Oh yes, uh, yes, 1963. <laughs> okay, the there first, you go, 1963. First homecoming queen, uh, Rita Davis. Uh huh. R so this year we're going to have our 64 homecoming queen. I've already spoken to her. Her name is Cleo Hinojosa. Oh, okay. So, so she'll be there. She'll be there also. Wow, we'll, that's so, amazing. So it's kind of neat to see all these traditions from way back, and hopefully we can review what's happened in the past and implement some of these new traditions in the future. So, so it's, it's kind of neat to hear the stories of what they did way back. Right. Not way back, but you not, know what not, I mean. I mean, not that far back. <laughs> not that We're far back. We're only 20 years old. But so. <laughs> as, I rem as I mentioned earlier, we want anyone that hasn't been part of our 50-year club um, to please come. We want to meet you. We want to visit with you. We want to hear your stories. Have you kind of had a response from the year of 1964? Yeah. I mean, do folks know, hey, uh, UTPA is looking for yes, us? Yes, yes. We've been publicizing. We just started doing this uh, back in 19... We started with 1961 class. So it's been growing. Mm -hmm. And so we even have uh, those that have already been inducted come back again to see who else is being inducted. So I really, I like to mention to those that haven't been inducted or are in the future might be in coming to the event, please come and see one of our reunions. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat to reminisce about all the I mean, it the, is, the and it kind of, you get the idea of how the university really evolved into what it is. And I yes. mean, obviously, we're pretty much on the precipice of something completely different yes. for the university. So it's kind of nice to look yes. back. You look back, and they're, they're, those are memories that are going to stay. Right. So we've, we've got to highlight those. Okay, okay, so tell me again the places and the times so okay. that we can invite our folks out there. Okay, the on Friday night, February the 14th, it's going to be over at the baseball stadium. The that one we can remember. Okay. It's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. The tailgate's going to be on the 15th, and that's on the, uh, the Fieldhouse parking lot. Okay. And then the next day, uh, we have our reunion, which I didn't mention the, the place. It's going to be at the International Trade and Technology International Room. The IT Square the building. IT Square building. Okay. 
for those that have come to it in the past, it's been in our ballroom. So oh, okay, it, so this it, is a change. This is a change, and uh -huh. the invitation actually has a map how to get to it. Okay, so, good. So that one's at 1030, and um, I think those are all the locations for right now. And all the other activities during the tailgate, at the, they're all going to be within the same parking lot. So Excellent. And so we're excited. This is a... Just, I, I want a lot of people there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was over a thousand last year, yeah, so hopefully we we're, we're going to, you know, beat that record this year. <laughs> I hope so. I know we will. Miss Debbie Grant, thank you so much for being with us in the studio. Appreciate it. And I thank you for having me here. And we certainly hope that you're going to don your green and your orange <laughs> and your white and head out there for homecoming week and uh, specifically for that weekend. It's Valentine's Day. If you don't have anything to do, hey, head on over to UTPA. For the city of McAllen, I'm Roxanne Lerma.